Good morning, traders, uh, and welcome to the live trading webinar today with Scott Pulsini, futures trader. We do this every Thursday at 10 a.m. Um, and uh, for those of you new in here, this is uh, the live trading event that we do uh, on Wednesdays with J Trader, a stocks trader, and on Thursdays with um, Scott, our futures trader. Uh, and this is all a part of the education that you get with Global Plus. All right, so what you receive is access to our uh, educational course that's online. Then we have daily advanced webinars uh, and um, uh, every weekday, 10 a.m., okay? Three days a week, it's live forward-looking analysis. So you can apply what you've learned from the course. And then two days a week, we have these uh, traders uh, trading live. Uh, so you can understand how they read order flow, uh, how they manage the trades, how they um, uh, 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 look at their setups, et cetera. Uh, so you can, we really offer kind of a robust full education here. Uh, that's a part of it. And it's not foreshadowing and, and just saying, oh, you know, like I'm gonna take some live trades from, from this guy uh, and make money. Uh, it's really about this whole process. If you learn this process, guys, you will be able to trade forever. Uh, so that's why we're doing it. Uh, so we'll go through the risk disclosure so, so you know what you're getting into. Um, you guys know who Scott is. And then uh, uh, his uh, uh, contact information has just changed a little bit here. Uh, so I'll, I'll be putting this into the uh, the chat. Uh, Scott has a new trading uh, room. Uh, on the, It's going to be on Discord. Uh, so anyway, you, you guys will see all this. Um, I'll, I'll update it uh, and put it into the chat for you. And he'll talk more about it as well. All right. Uh, amen, uh, John. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, uh, uh, David, Doug, Omar, uh, uh, and John. Uh, let's go through the risk disclosures and turn it over to Scott as quickly as we can here. Uh, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so with that, we'll turn it right over to Scott and let him take it away. Can you hear me, Bruce? Yes. All right, so as usual, talking to Bruce and missed a potential trade here, I'm looking to um, possibly short this NASDAQ. Uh, we had some nice sell ice here just a few minutes ago, over 200, this is black, uh, this black zone. And I was actually going to be aggressive. Again, we talk about this all the time in these webinars about you can trade these one of two ways. You know, when we break the zone, you can happen immediately. If you, um, if you're so inclined, if you, again, if you, if you have enough um, reasoning to be short, you know, you don't want to hope it retests and then fails. But a majority of the time, I'd say, you know, off the top of my head, 80% of the time, the market will retest the zone, and then if it fails, that's a great short. Once you see the selling bubbles, meaning that the uh, market selling come back in, that's where you jump in, so it goes above the area. So um, I will short this if we get a move back. It's pretty likely just because um, we just go up every single day, so <laughs> you're, you're probably going to get a, you know, and obviously this market is very bullish right now, um, and, you know, you have to understand that, but there are there are certain spots where you can attempt shorts, right? And this is one of them, and we'll go over that. But you can see here uh, again. You guys know I look at the spot gamma levels. If you guys know the spot gamma, uh, awesome. It's an awesome uh, thing with the options where you know you you know it, it, the guy does analysis based on where he thinks uh, where he knows based on the options activity. Uh, you know, dealers, nice. dealers are going to be hedging their uh, own stocks. Stocks. I'm going to get in gold here too, so we'll bring that over. But uh, where dealers want to be hedging their uh, positions, so you know they're going to be active. So anyway, we came up here, and this is exactly where we stopped and sold off. So anyway, if we come back to this zone, retest, fail, I'm going to be short that. 
I've been wanting to get long gold and this is the opportunity. Uh, I was long a couple times last week and the thing just wouldn't go. And I think this is it right here. And you can see these uh, stop runs coming in huge 500 right now. I will buy this. I'm, I'm anticipating a stop and hold setup. Um, let me get this drawn here so you can see this new uh, icebergs on chart now shows it shows the stop runs too which is awesome uh, you can see here that the red uh, that, that was nice. 346 and then another 130 here and then you can see that basically totals out to the 500 plus that we've got down here on the graph so um, i do want to go along this so i'm going to buy this if it starts to pop above shot there and then i'm going to put my stop I'm going to go a little bit below this. Um, I'm going to go maybe, so a good way, we've been talking about like, this is kind of arbitrary as far as how you want to trade this again. It, it, like we were talking about waiting for retest, how aggressive you want to be, right? So um, I usually give my trades at least two two tries, <clears throat> meaning if this comes down here, well, let me let me get my stop in right away. So we'll do, we'll do this a different way today. I'm going to put this really close and you guys know what happens when I do that. I usually get stopped out to the tick, but if that happens, I'm going to show you how you can re-enter this trade where this comes down, which gold does so many times. Gold crew, these thinner trader markets will swipe through the zone a little bit, you know, stop you out if you're too close and then, and then go, right? So you can, you can trade this one of two ways. One, you can either put your stop far enough from the zone where you say, you know what, I'm going to give this a little room because it is gold and it does pop a little bit below zones, or you can be tight. If you get stopped out and it pops back in the zone, you can get long again there, or you can wait for it to clear the zone to the upside and get long there. Um, so again, that that's all personal preference on how aggressive you want to be, but you have to come up with, we talk about this all the time with playbooks, with rules that you follow every time, right? One time you can't say, uh, I'm going to stop out. I'm going to put my stop close to the zone and I'm not going to get back in. And then it turns around and does that. And then the next time you're like, okay, I'm going to get in when it gets above. And then you get in here and then it stops out again. And then the next time you say, I'm going to get in when it gets, you see what I'm saying? You, so you want to be consistent with, with how you trade it, right? And the whole idea is you keep seeing these setups and how they work and how, how powerful this SI indicator is. You come up with your own rules and then you learn, you know, when you get on these webinars, you learn from me and how I approach it. And then you, you mold that to your style and what how you like to trade as far as aggressiveness and things like that. I mean, the, the basic core concepts are there. Actually, put my little look in on here, I'm sorry. Um, the core concepts are there for you to understand the areas, but you have to come up with the, uh, oh, that's pretty big. Hold on a second here. I feel like seeing my mug the entire time I'm talking. Um, but you have to come up with your own concepts as far as how aggressive you want to be, so on and so forth. There we go. All right, so uh, quickly why I want to be long gold is we've been talking about this, like this is it. This is the big one, Elizabeth. Anybody tell me what shows that that's from? One will show how old you are, but you know that one, Bruce? This I don't. The big one, Elizabeth? You better know this, Bruce. I, I don't know it. You're so old, you should notice it in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I got it. I got it. One, I, uh, let, me, let me guess. Let me guess. Sanford and Son. Yes. Oh, just, oh you, you read it out of the chat. You I, I see it in the chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> and Thomas. That's so funny. I can't get this. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Um, so this is what I've been waiting for. Like last week we were talking about this and I did get long here and I did take a loss because it didn't go, but this is what I wanted to see. Um, which is our guy. So we talked about how we had this balance area. We broke down, had a fail breakdown, came right back, kind of hesitated at the high volume node, which is very important as far as if this is gonna stay bearish, it needs to hold that and then go. Instead, we got above it and then we held it, held it, held it. We just basically built a brand new um, for the last week and a half, another balance area here, you know, and then now we are breaking out of that balance. We're getting above this zone where you can see we started a huge sell off here, huge sell off here, sell off here, and we're finally above there. Now this is going to be, and, and we got, again, I look for structure and then confirmed by mine, right? Now we got the monster stop run, 500 plus. That's your fuel because you got to remember, guys, there's someone on the other side of this trade. If you are the guy that thought this was going to stop for the 90th time in the last month at this area, 
then you're shorting this and you just get run over. What are you doing right now? You're sitting there, you're praying. One, it either comes back to the zone so you oh, can nice. peel out, or two, you're you're puking out your position, right? So a tendency so many times of these markets we just talked about with NASDAQ will be a retest. But this is exactly why you have to decide how aggressive you want to be. Like I didn't want to wait for any kind of retest of the zone, right? Because a lot, again, 80% of the time we'll do this, at least in the equities anyway, it'll come back and then it'll go, right? But you have to decide, hey, do I want to be aggressive and get right when it busts through the zone and get in, or do I wait for a retest? Again, that is personal preference. You have to, as you get better reading market context, you're gonna see when you should be aggressive, when you should be more conservative, right? So like that NASDAQ trade, did I just miss this too, by the way? Well, here we go. All right, so here's the 80% of the time retest. Guys, this stuff is just it's just repeated, repeated over and over and over. And when you learn how to read it, you can, again, you don't have to chase. You say, you know, I know there's a very high percentage we're going to re at least retest this. And if I start to see the selling come back in, then I'll get it. You don't have to chase. You don't need to be algo. This is algo area. There's nothing going on, right? You wait for your zones. You wait to see what you want to see. So you see, I'm not shorting this right now, right? We're, we're, there's no sellers. Why am I going to short this? I want to see this thing fail in the zone. Then I want to see the sellers come back in like they did over here. Clear this out like they did here. Then I'll be in. Then my stop goes above here. If this just goes dit, 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 dit right through it, I'm not. Why, why do I want to short if nobody else wants to short on the planet, right? So we'll keep an eye on that. What I will do, because again, it's kind of hard on one screen popping back and forth here. I will put it, um, if this can hold right here, it might not, let's see. But I will stop into a short if it comes back. I'll go a little bit below here. Um, but again, you guys have seen from these prior webinars, if you've been on them, I'm not, if this gets above the zone, I'll give it one blip chance to get back in. But if it like gets up here and holds, 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 I'm canceling this order. I don't want to be short. Sure. I don't want to be short anymore. Sounds like there's more sell ice potentially coming in here. This was a 150 stop run. That's threshold as well. So this could be a stop and hold setup, just like we just saw on gold. And we'll mark that up. And if I'm moving too fast for you guys, I apologize. But you can imagine trying to do all this and talking and get zones drawn and everything else. So any questions in there, just fire them into Bruce and I'll try to answer them. So you can see I draw this, drew this zone based on this. I'm going to change this color. Um, so if this fails, this will be a dumb and dumber setup, right? Let me uh, get this drawn and we'll go over that. And Bruce tells me they're very close to releasing a new drawing tool, which would be awesome. Sorry, I spend 80% of my day drawing zones. Um, all right, so you see here, I will still short. You can short right here aggressively if you want because this is a dumb and dumber. What's a dumb and dumber? It's a stop run over the threshold for the for the NASDAQ. Mine right now I use right around 150 as a good threshold. In my course I have 120, but I'm using 150. It's a little more, um, it's just a better threshold in my opinion. But you can see there's, there's the puke. There was no follow through buying behind it. Failure, right? So you could get short right here if you want to. Stop goes right here. Or you can wait and say, you know what? I want to make sure. I want to see this. I know this was bearish. I want to see this get back below this zone, kind of like mine is here. And what I'll do is I'm actually I will move this up now because there was another um, there was another uh, setup. Actually, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to wait. I'm going to see if this does come back and uh, retest this, which it's doing right now. If this fails, I, if I see red, I will short up here like that. So. Again, this is aggressive. You can wait for it to break back below. I'm gonna cancel this and I'm just gonna sell right here. It's aggressive, right? The conservative entry is to wait for it to get back below that black line, the bottom of that uh, that sell iceberg zone. So you see where my stop is. Um, we haven't really covered why I like this zone here. Let's take a quick look at gold first and see where we're at on that trade. All right, so again, guys, you know, we talked about, I got in aggressively, and we also talked about the tendencies of these markets to do one of these and then and then go, right? So if you know that, you are not panicking if this thing starts to pull the algo, right? Again, algos know when no one's playing around, and that's when they start to whipsaw the market. 
So how many traders just caught this? They saw the same thing I did on the on the traditional bar chart. Oh, we're breaking out. I'm long. Yeah, this thing's going 200, 200 points right now or 200 ticks right now. And then it starts to do this. And how many, what percentage of the traders start to panic out because they're like, oh man, I was just up, I was up two grand and now this is coming back, I'm out. Well, that's, why do you, how do you think the algos are in existence? Right? They're there to take your cash. They, this is what they do because they know they can do it. So my point is, as long as you know the area that shouldn't be violated, I literally go over this every time I'm on these webinars. They can do this for the next four hours. It does not matter. Yeah, if something new comes in, then you can readjust and say, say something bearish did come in. Yeah, then that's fine. But if nothing's happening here, don't let this whipsawness scare you out of the trade. You know the area that shouldn't be violated, right? There's my stop. So we'll keep an eye on that. But it would not surprise me in the least to see this and then this and then it go. And how many traders will puke out and then be crying the rest of the day because they missed the 200 point move when they were long and they got out, right? Don't don't be that guy. So we'll keep that here, keep an eye on it. I'm sure I'm gonna be pulling teeth on this NASDAQ short if it even does work. So again, very aggressive, right? We got in because of this guy. I was originally gonna short on the retest of this zone and went right through that zone. That was not, that's not bearish to me, right? So this, I, again, this is why this area right here is very aggressive. The, the conservative entry is if it breaks below this zone, then you can get short there. And you can either risk back above the zone here or above here. So it looks like I'm probably gonna get stopped out here. Will I, will I reshort? Yeah, because again, I gave my trades two chances, but I'm not gonna reshort here. I'm gonna wait for where I should have waited for the conservative entry, because I did say this was pretty aggressive. So we'll see if this holds. Um, oh, and then I like the area because, let's see here, this zone, it's all time highs, obviously, right? And this is where, this is the high, and this is what led to this strong conviction down. So I'm looking, and we gapped up into it. So I'm looking for one of my one of my favorite things to look for is directional conviction, and a gap would be considered directional conviction into a zone, an important zone, right? Because you got to remember, like all the fuel for the buying is basically the directional conviction, and then when they get to an important area where there's like less buyers because all the buyers were down here, and then those tend to fail, right? So I like again, you don't want to just fade directional conviction, but if it's far enough, long enough, and then into an important zone, it's a good risk reward trade. So this is gonna, this is a very important area. If we get above here, I'm not gonna be looking short, right? So I'm giving this a chance. I know this market's very bullish, it's very aggressive, uh, but I'm giving it a shot on the short side because I've seen two bearish setups so far in the real-time buy. And that's what drives markets is the real-time buy. Not lines on a chart, real-time buy. All right, gold's gone. So now what we can do, and I'm sure it's gonna be happening because you gotta remember guys, this is a monster area that we're breaking out of. We're probably gonna get another stop run. What will I do? I will, I will put out a new trade, then I can drag my stop, this stop, up to the new area where I can control risk. So you notice I am not, again, tendency of most traders, they're seeing this, they're like, they do arbitrary, I'm trailing my stop 15 ticks below. So I'm gonna move my stop up here. What, that means nothing to the market. What you're, you're, where you don't wanna lose money back is that means nothing to the market, right? So when you do things like that, you are just opening yourself up for the algos. And that's what they want. Don't you think the algos are programmed knowing guys trail their stops, they come back and stop you out, right? Again, you wanna base it on structure. And we've seen this in prior, prior webinars. Is there a chance this thing comes all the way back here and I don't get any new bearish signals to possibly get out or, or a bullish signal that fails? Yeah, that's a, there's, a, there's a chance for that. But I know my setups, how well they work, and I know that they, should, again, until something new comes in, I, I know how these markets trade, and I know it's probably gonna do this, right? I'm not panicked out until it violates an important area which was this monster stop. So hopefully that makes sense. I just keep harping on the same stuff, but it's the most important stuff. All right, again, pulling teeth in NASDAQ. <clears throat> um, again, if I get stopped out of this, which is pretty likely, I will re-enter down here, not up here where this zone came in, because I want to see the sell ice basically hold and then go. 
But again, if you were aggressive down the first break of this, this was a nice trade. And we did almost retest here. Again, I was talking to Bruce at the time, but if you got in here, this is a it's almost a 40, 40 point trade, 30 point trade, right? So we'll keep an eye on that. Any questions, Bruce, before I dive into this other? You know? Yeah. Um, Bogdan is asking about um, uh, gold uh, size parameters. As far as thresholds? I, I believe so. Oh, no, for alerts. Alerts. Yeah, so the thresholds. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe it's 150. Yeah. So I got 150 for stops, 150 for icebergs. Again, my course, I have a little less, but you know, I just, when, when a market is, certain days are, are different, right? And I know this market is, um, especially right now, is you want to see bigger size in this area to be to be participating because it's just been such a whipsaw fest for a month, right? So I, I just, I'm, I'm higher on my thresholds. Again, you, you know, as you watch these markets, you're going to be able to determine on your own, hey, you know, what's a lot for today? We talk about this all the time as well. If you see, so I think my the course, um, the threshold's 120, right? First, say icebergs. And you see, right from the open, you see like, you know, nine 120s, 120, right? You don't want to be taking 120 as your threshold that day. You need to increase it. We talk about this every webinar too. You've got to use some critical thinking in trading, guys. Like everything's just not like black and white. Like when I first released the course, I would get an email and the guy... I tell this story all the time too. He's like, "Oh, I don't understand. I you have threshold at 120 for Nasdaq, and I I saw that threshold 22 times today, and a lot of them weren't working." And I said, "Well, you answered your own question because when you see it 22 times, you probably don't want to trade that threshold. The whole idea is you only want to see these setups, you know, three, four, five times a day max. You can see this is by far the biggest. It's not like this just keeps reoccurring, right?" So you don't want to see your thresholds hit, my thresholds hit from my course or what you know whatever you're using, you know, 20 times because they're not, it's not relevant then, right? So you have to try to gauge by the day, hey, what's a lot? So I can see here today in gold, 184 sell ice here, 140 48 here. So I think 150 is a good threshold for ice today, right? So far, if I start seeing 300, 300, 300, I'm not going to be using 150 anymore. So you, hopefully you guys understand that. You got to use a little critical thinking. What I am expecting here, there's going to be another stop run. And then I'm going to pull this up, trail the stop, put another position on. So this is what we talk about, guys. Now this could be, the whole point in trading is, and I think I read it last week about, um, that I, I read reminiscences last week, right? That one passage, Bruce? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. About the, um, the book was written like 100 uh, it was based on the guy trading from 120 years ago and it was stuff is still relevant today about not you know most traders fail on wall street he was saying back then that because they're trying to catch every move and they're they're trading too often they don't have set things that they're looking for you know as aka setups playbooks um and then the other thing was I lost my train of thought um I forget what i'm just gonna say um well, trading for a living, like, um, uh, you know, every day there were expectations for making money. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Bruce. So this is not a regular job, guys. I just got stopped out of here, by the way. I'm, I'm now I'm going to, I will re-enter down here. Um, and, hey, look at, uh, I can't, there's no way. Was this to the exact tick? Huh. You ever seen that, Bruce? A few times. It's just, it's just silliness. Like, look at that. Boom. Down. Gone. Oh, well. So I, I will re-enter. Again, if this comes back above this zone now, I'm not playing on the short side. NASDAQ, I gave this this chance. This was aggressive where I got in, wherever that was over here. I will give it, if this could, zone could hold here, and then it comes back below this, when the sell ice was prior, then I will give it one more shot. Um, if anything, I just want to see it pop above my price. I got stuffed out, so I don't complain for the rest of the webinar that I got stopped off of the tech for the 4,000th time. Um, so anyway, trading is not, I, I get, I get this, like, even with my you know, guys I'm mentoring, right? the guy asked me the other day, well, what do I need to do to average, uh, to make a thousand dollars a day? And 
you guys, this is not a regular job. This is not a, a job where you're going to get paid every single day. You may want to. The market doesn't care what you want, right? This this is a this is a profession where, especially as a click trader, where you're not you know making your own um, your out al your own algos and stuff. This is a profession where your goal is to make a little, lose a little, make a little, lose a little. Then when you get the big trade, and I'll give you, I'll show you an example from crude yesterday as well. When you get this trade and then you get your setup, you get in and then as this goes higher, you're gonna get another one. Then you add to the position, you trail your stop. Then you get another one and you catch a trend day and then you have a day, say your average day is you make two grand, is a good day for you. This kind of day, if this works out like I think it may, this could be $20,000 a day and you're not really, yeah, you're adding you're adding size, but you're not really risking much because you're gonna be, it's just gonna be a brand new setup, right? And again, this, by having this information, you're just not arbitrarily saying, um, you know, I'm just going to throw in another long right here, right? Because that's what this what this SI indicator affords you. One, you know where you can add. Two, you can control your risk, right? So I use this, I use these examples all the time too. So you're the breakout trader that, that's trading this gold right now. You're right so far, right? This looks great. This is not this is not rocket science to see this. I'm going to show you this in gold yesterday or in crude yesterday as well here in a second, right? This is not. I mean, this is basically now one, I should come and do this, one huge balance, right? Going back to the beginning of March before that, end of, end of February, monster balance. And then you had balance built on the top of balance. So it does not take, um, an um, it doesn't take a, uh, incredible seasoned trader to see this is breaking out, right? But my point is, if you don't have the, S, the SI indicator and you're long here, where, where is your stop gonna be? I mean, technically, this thing could come all the way back to the high volume node, or at least where it broke out from today. Are you gonna risk 150 ticks on this trade to hope it goes up here, which I think it's going to, but the point is when you have the SI indicator, you can really control your risk. What am I risking here? Not a ton. Right, I'm risking. I got in here, got in at 10, down to 80. I'm risking 20 ticks. This could easily be a two, 300 tick trade today, right? So I'm I'm risking one to make 10, right? I'm risking 20 to make 200. If, if what it should happen happens, right? If it doesn't, well, that's fine. Guess what? I risk I risk 20 ticks for a potential 200. That's what you want. If you're trading off the bar chart and you have no idea about real time volume setups. You got to risk 150 ticks to to prove yourself right, basically, or you don't have to. But anywhere else you would put this in here, if you're just looking at this, that's just arbitrary, then, right? Like we say, guys get in and they're like, I'm going to risk 15 ticks. I'm going to get in right here. Well, th again, this what's the 15 ticks in in relation to this? Nothing. It means nothing. It means you're probably going to get stopped out. For you to trade bar charts or candlestick charts, you have to use structure. Then, if you don't have real time volume information, then you'd have to put your stop below that for it to still, because the market could easily do this, then go, and it would still be a bullish setup. See what I'm saying? Um, let's take a look at it, yes. I, I can't believe we're rallying. This is like the first first time I've seen this. Get sarcastic, guys. Huge stop run, looks like a stop and hold. Probably should have been a little quick on the gun to get in on this. This is, hopefully we'll get a pullback, but I doubt it. I'll change the color here in a second. I just want to see where we're at here. All right, so this is this is a huge stop run, 1,100 contracts. What do we look like on the? Oh, this was a great long. Sitting there chirping on gold, but anyway, the all-time highs, obviously. Now we this was balance. We broke out, sold off yesterday. Where did we hold? High volume node gapped up today, above everything, going to the moon, right? So here's another, there's another reason why you, like right here, how many guys are not getting along this market right now because they're like, I'm not buying all-time highs, I'm not buying all-time, this can't keep going, right? Uh, how many guys have said that for the last year? <laughs> it just goes straight up basically every day. So if you have this information, you're like, I'll buy these, I'll buy this right now. Like if we would have been on this page, I would have bought this. You get in right here, you're like, this is a thousand lot stop run. Right, let's see if we can at least 
trade MQ. Um, but you're only risking down to here, and you you have a reason you can get long. You're looking at a bar chart. You know, I'm not getting long all-time highs, and then you miss a 50-point move straight up, which is probably going to happen again. Let's see here, 189. This is threshold. We'll draw this. I will go along this now because we're above that area that I showed you. Now look how awesome this new uh, icebergs on chart tool is for this. Um, you can really see now, it shows you this icebergs and the stop runs. I look at that. You can see the exact, the exact prices that stop fired off on. I should put this a little low for the zone. Um, but let's see if this holds. So this could be, again, this could be a dumb and dumber. I don't necessarily want to short right here because we'll look at it again. We're above everything now. But this is what these thin traded markets do. They will pop a little bit below the zone, right? So if you did, you shouldn't be long this yet anyway because you don't know what it is until it really breaks from the zone. But if this comes back up here, I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to go long and I'm going to put it close. Oh, so the other thing I was telling, I wanted to tell you guys too, like a good thing I've been um, researching a little bit is how far you should put your, you know, Again, thinner traded markets. Well, it's like, you know, I know last session I'm, I was saying I want to go 10 points above the zone, things like that. The, the best way to do it is to go to your, um, and, you know, most most platforms have this, the uh, the ATR, average true range. Let's make this an hourly too, by the way. All right, so average true range is basically just the average true range of the day, right? And you can see it down here. We're averaging right around... You can see how much how much we're off from the highs over here. We were we had a we were the average range over here was 160 points a day. Now we're down to half that, right? So or less than half that. So 60, 68. So let's just say six, uh, 64. Let's say 60, right? So a good rule of thumb is you can take 20% of the ATR, and that's how far you should go outside your zones, right? So what's 20% of 60? 12, right? So that's if again if if you want to be more conservative. So Let's just let's just do that for the for this sake, right? So I want to go, yeah. And I understand that you know most people don't want to risk 12 points above the zone, but I'm just telling you, you if you if you have a tendency, actually, I, I don't want to do that now because I want to be aggressive. But if you want to be more conservative, use the, a percentage of the ATR. If anything, if you don't want to be on the entry, it's fine. But I'm saying for your stops, so say I get filled here, and this is when I'll do it. So I want to get I want to be aggressive here because we're breaking out of the you know all time highs, obviously. If I get filled here, I'm going to put my stop 20% of the ATR or 12 points. So I'll put my stop down here, 81, right? That's how you can do it if you want to give yourself more room. Or like we talked about at the beginning of the webinar, you can put your stop right here. If you get stopped out, just re-enter if it gets back in the zone. That's one way to do it. Or wait for it to get back above. Again, you guys got to come up with that on your own, what, what you're comfortable with. But if I do get filled on that, we'll give this a try. Or I'll go 20% of the ATR. I'm going to go 12 points under the zone which would probably be right around here. So let's see if this uh, rips, I already missed the ES. Let's see if it pulls back. So, so many times guys, again, when you see these mammoth stop runs, icebergs, the market will give you another another chance. All right, here, got something going on in gold. So now this is gonna either be an ad or a reason for me to get out if it doesn't hold. Oh. Look at my awesome icebergs on chart showing me the exact, got some sell ice coming in here. Look at that. So again, guys, we talked about in bookmap kind of from what they told me and, you know, I was, I was semi complaining. If you have any complaints about bookmap, there were very few because it's so awesome. But the things that I wanted to see was this so many times will show you net net icebergs. So again, in, in this area, Right, so let's say this area fired off. There could be a thousand sell icebergs and a thousand buy icebergs, and on a chart on this uh, graph, it'll show you net zero. Well, that that's not indicative of what's really happening, right? So what my my point to them was, we need to see something where if that occurs, if it's showing me zero on the chart, I at least want to see what it is up here because it's very pretty significant if there's two thousand icebergs here, right? You want to know that here it's showing none. So anyway, I'm probably going to add to this. It's going to be a good chance, good reason for me to trail my stop at least. So now you see, guys, this is why you trail your stop. There's a reason. It's not because I don't want to give back my profit. It's because 
this cell ice, I don't want to see it get back below the cell ice, right? And you can see where it started. Let's get this snow and drawn. So it started here and then went to all the way up to here. We want to incorporate all the prices, right? And we know the concentration was where you see the icebergs on chart. Another reason why it's awesome. That started here. I think that's incorporating it all. All right, let's make that black for cell ice. Again, over threshold, right? We were saying 150 is a good threshold today. This is 180. Now, I think I'm missing my ad. That's okay for now, because I know that I have a very good chance of this retesting this zone. So you're this guy, you're this big order that just put the cell ice in. The, again, icebergs are hidden orders. You just got, you're getting run over. What are you thinking? Please, please, please come back so I can scratch my trade. And then when you start, when these guys start to come back in to buy, buy back their cells, they just got run over on. That's what leads to the next move up. So what I'm going to do is I will wait for a retest to, to add a second entry, but I minimum I'm going to trail the stop up. Where's that? There we go. So now I'm going to give this a little room. So now what we're we going to do? Let's look at the ATR for gold. Five minute. There we go. ATR is. You can see how condensed this market's been. I mean, look, it's just been a complete chop fest. But this is, it's only 40, 46 ticks, 47 ticks. So let's say 50. So I'm going to go 20% of that. So that's 10. So I'm going to go 10 points below the zone or 10 ticks below the zone. So the zone was at 46. I'm going to put it at 36. Give it a little room. Right, because I know how bullish this is. I don't want to. Again, you could put it right below the zone and re-enter. I'm giving it a little room because this market's so bullish right now. And I just missed the retest. Now I'm going to get in. There we go, guys. Over and over and over. Move away. Retest. These guys say, "Oh no, I need to get out." They start buying it. That leads to the next up move. So now I'm going to put my stop for that. What I'll do with my ad, I'll keep that closer. So we'll get an example here if this does come down and stop me out here. And what I'll do, because I want to be more aggressive today, if this stops me out, so let's say this comes back. Can I, this comes like this and stops me out from my second position. And it pops back in the zone, I'm going to get right back in. And I'll put the stop in the same spot. The risk with that is, yeah, you're not risking much, but it can easily go like this and then do it one more time or twice or three times, right? The, the, the better entry as far as structure is to wait for it to clear the zone again. So if this comes down, stops me out, is to wait for it to get back above here and get back in. So we'll see what happens here. So again, I, the, 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 this context of this market, this should not be, this should be going like now. So this could be a year making trade. For those of you that are following along at all. And again, Bruce, like we said, this is these webinars aren't for you to shadow me. Yeah, it's it, you can put on the same trades, but you want to know why you're putting on the trades, right? I see so many, so many guys that I mentor and stuff that were are in these trade rooms that they're trying to follow along with these guys that are just putting on trades. And then like I, I actually got in one um, a couple of days ago, incognito. I just wanted to see because some guys were raving about him and I was watching him trade, and it was just like he put out a trade and he, you think I complain a lot? You should share this dude. He, it was ridiculous. So he put on a trade and then it like, he would have a stop like here and then the market would come back like halfway. He's like, ah, you know what? Forget it. I'm out. It's like, well, what, what about the 30 guys that are trading with you? Are, are you going to give a reason? Is it just because you had a feeling? You're just showing what a bad trader you are by doing that first and foremost. But it's like, how do you follow along with that? That's why you can't mirror someone trading. You have to learn how to recognize this stuff on your own. Speaking of trade rooms, before I forget, I'm starting my own. I've um, we trade desk and I have uh, ended our contract, so I am now on my own, which is going to give me so much more freedom. Um, one, I'm going to be in there way more often. Like with we trade desk, I was only in there only in there a half hour a day, twice a day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now I'm going to be in there basically every day for an hour and 15 minutes on the open. We'll, we'll like the whole structure is going to be different too. Where I'm going to go over each and every market as far as context 
kind of like I was showing you in gold, like what to be looking for, which way I'm leaning, we'll go through that. And then obviously the live trading setup. So I'll be doing an hour and 15 minutes at the, at the open, and then I'll be doing an hour at the close, along with sharing screenshots all day long, like if, I, you know, if I'm not on live. And then also we're gonna have a community collaboration where guys can put in, you know, Hey, did you see this? And did you see, did you see soybeans? And that's going to help you stay alert. You know, even if you have the alerts, you're going to be like, oh, I didn't see that. So it's going to be awesome. Um, so I think Bruce. Yeah, I just put it, in I just put it into the chat. It, it's all in there. Check it, Scott. <clears throat> um, okay. So that's going to be on the, um, uh, it's going to be on Discord. So it's perfect because, let's see if I can find this here. So there's going to be some hiccups. I'll get, I'll get it in all this stuff here. Um, let's see. So again, I just got this up and running, but you're you're going to see here it's on Discord and, and Bookmap has their free channel here, right? So um, you'll be able to be on the on the on the Bookmap, and then you can just like you know when, when my webinar starts, like when I do the live trading, you can just literally to toggle over to me, and it's perfect. It's a perfect setup, perfect scenario. So again, the problem is this thing is so complicated just when you're first learning as far as channels and who has access and who doesn't, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to be some growing pains for the next, I want my official launch to be probably Monday. Um, so for the next, like I'm going to start stuff today and tomorrow, kind of getting in there, testing stuff. So my offer to you guys, I put in Twitter, there's going to be an offer is so that the, if you click on that link, it's, it's 149 a month. But if you guys, um, you know, anyone on this webinar, if you, when you go to check out, uh, put the awesome code word of Bruce in there, and it'll give you, uh, it'll give it to you for 99 bucks for the month. So, um, but you have, the reason I'm doing that, I'm giving a discount because you have to be able to go through the growing pains with me of getting this set up, right? So it's only going to take a couple of days for me to figure this out, but you know, I might be testing stuff and you might not be able to see something. I don't know, but that's why you're getting a discount. So. Uh, you can get in there for the 99 bucks right now. You know, if you get in today, that that's gonna I'll have that up that discount code through Sunday. Um, and then we'll see going forward. I might have a you know a special discount for book map peeps. Uh, we'll see, but at least you get the uh, the discount right now. Um, so again, if you have any questions on that, fire in the chat or send me an email. I'm brand new to the Discord stuff, so it's gonna take me a couple of days again, but um, it's gonna be. A lot different from we trade desk where it's going to be just me and again you're going to have a lot more access to me as far as me, me uh, showing stuff and then asking questions and i'm also gonna what we're going to do is i'm going to share my playbooks and my exact parameters and the stuff that i take and uh we're also i'll help you guys build playbooks and and just learn how to be a real trader right it's, it's just going to be a different type of trade room than these clown clown shows where guys are just putting on arbitrary trades and stop getting out and not telling people you're going to know like this you're going to know why but i'm going to help you become a better trader on your own instead of just trying to mirror what i'm doing okay so all right got that out before i forgot about it um <clears throat> any questions on that bruce <clears throat> Uh, people are real excited about that. Um, uh, discount code is Bruce. Uh, I I I don't know about that. Um, how about uh, <laughs> how about Lizzie or Liz? It was all, he always said he always said Wheezy, didn't he? Like this is the big one. Uh, no, or, yeah, I mean Bruce. It's now now you're starting to embarrass yourself. Wheezy was from oh, it was from uh, moving on up uh, the uh, Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, then again, I forgive you because you are so old. Your memory is obviously collapsing. <laughs> oh, you, if you want to do battle, Scott, like I'm game. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> you, no, I'm not, you want... I'm not battles in what though? I'll crush you in TV shows. Uh, yeah, you probably will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Weezy was the Jeffersons. Elizabeth was Sanford and Son. And when he he always would fake he was having a heart attack, and he'd be like, "This is the big one, Elizabeth. I'm coming to you." Yeah, I so remember that. And he, and he actually did have a big one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's how he died. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, he was funny. Kind of um, yeah, yeah that, that stuff would be uh, not so politically correct today. That's why. It, oh, you know, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. I mean, that's why it was just great. <laughs> uh, all those old 70s shows. Um, uh, so what, what is, uh, yeah, people are asking, what is the code then? Just Bruce. So, you know, click on that link. It'll save 149 a month. 
that'll give you the 99 for the first month and then I'll figure something out for a little bit of a discount off of the 149 going forward after that. Um, and that'll get you in like right now. But after Sunday, that code's not gonna work. It's just gonna be a regular price. Why, again, why I'm doing that is because it's gonna be kind of hairy in the next couple, you know, I'm gonna start today posting stuff. I might get in, go, you know, impromptu live later on today. But you guys have to bear with me. It's not going to be some smooth thing right away because I, again, Discord is it's pretty daunting when you look at the 500 things that you have to like again permissions and all that other stuff. So that's why I'm doing that. So you guys kind of you know work with me on that. Um, but just enter in Bruce, click on that link, and when you go to check out, enter Bruce, and then it should give you fifty dollars off. To for so ninety nine dollars for the month instead of one forty nine. If it does not, then email me. Uh, Scott at scottpulsinitrader.com, and I'll, uh, I'll try to figure out what the problem is. But again, it's going to be awesome because it's going to be that Discord with the book map, and you can just toggle back and forth, right? It's like, okay, let's let's check out book map. Anybody have any good th anything good to say? Oh no, okay, then I'll go back to Scott's room, right? And just click over here, and we'll be posting. I'll be posting stuff all day, and then live stuff, kind of like I'm doing now. It's going to be good, and and I, and I can do whatever I want. I don't have to. I'm not constricted anymore. So, not that we trade us. That was it's a it's a good room. Um, it's just kind of convoluted with everything, right? And that's that's another reason why we decided to part ways because he wanted to concentrate more on the task products, which I still use, right? It's like I I still believe this stuff is you know very very powerful. All it is is mini market profiles, right? And we'll talk about all this stuff in the room too. I'm going to show you guys how I use all this and the market profile. And how to read structure, market structure, how to build playbooks. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna become lethal traders. You can even see on that little thing that I wrote on the um, on the introduction there when you go to pay about turning you guys into lethal traders. So and it's, again, it's it's the room's gonna be to teach you guys how to trade for yourselves, right? So you can do this for the rest of your life and not work for the man anymore. I'm pretty sure people want that unless you like working for for a guy and kissing up to bosses and so on and so forth, right? That's the, that's the joy of being a professional <clears throat> trader, right? It's not an easy job, but if you learn what you're doing, you can you can do it and you can you know be proficient at it and support yourself. Um, Scott, uh, about the yeah. um, uh, trading room. Um, so is is the first letter capitalized? I mean, people are trying to get in there right now uh, and saying it's not working at the moment. So what what so what does it do when they so they pay they already paid and they and it didn't let them into the room? Is that correct? Okay, so yeah, it is. A, yes, it is a capital B. Um, thank you, David. Um, thank you, and, Oh it, no, they're saying it's working. Uh, awesome, cool. Yeah, ne never mind. Again, guys, I'm going to be in here today screwing around with this, so don't get all razzled if it doesn't work right away. That's why I'm giving you the discount to put up with that nonsense. But I should have it all straightened out by Monday, right? All right, so we're getting stops here. And I mean, the only, the only thing I'm warning you guys, if you get into, that, into my trade room, you're gonna hear me complain about this exact thing 4,000 times. I mean, look at this, where, where was my stop up here? Where was it? Where was it, Bruce? How come I don't see my little arrows? Uh, let's see. So it might have just really climbed there. Oh, there it is. There it oh, is. Oh no, okay, okay, no, no, that was yeah. that was early. I feel much better. So this was this at the time. It did this, and I'm like, what the? But again, I canceled that bid because what happened up here? That was a bearish setup. There you go. 100 and 200 last stop run. You don't know what it is. Gone. Dumb and dumber. And now we just had more sell stops come in. So let's see what this is. Again, I will give this a, I didn't want to short up there, but now this is accepting back. I'm, I will give this a short if this turns into a stop and hold setup, right? So this is 177. This literally is right where this other zone was. So I'm just going to keep this here and see what see what happens. If this pops above here, I, I, I'm not going long right now. This is starting to become a chop fest where I want to go long again. You can see we're still in this zone. I would have bought, I would have gone along where we were just talking about because we would have been busting out of this zone. But this is still, this is, why is this zone here? Because this is where this is the all time high and this is where this conviction move of almost 300 points yesterday occurred. 
and where are we starting to fail again? Right here. I will get long if we start to get stuff above here, but for now, I will still look for shorts. Um, some people are in and able to use the link, others are not, and it's Bruce with a capital B is what people are saying is working. So is it um, if you guys, like, I mean, just, you'll you'll have to, you know, try to, you know, the, I put the link in there for you, um, and, um, uh, you know, you've got the uh, the trading room information there, and, uh, you know, you'll have to reach out to Scott, I guess, on some of the details here. Yeah, again, um, guys, be, be patient. This is I'm just getting this up and running. I did it last night after a long day of golf. <laughs> so got it up and running. That's why I'm giving you the discount to put up with the nonsense for the next couple of days. You're not going to be missing anything. Right. I just, I, 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 this is why I'm doing this so I can get it all ready to go. So the Monday official launch, everything's nice and smooth, but it's not going to be nice and smooth today and tomorrow. So just know that getting it. And again, I will reward you for your patience. You're going to get rewarded with a discount and going forward, I will figure something out for the guys that, you know, did get in here now to kind of help me because you're helping me too, to understand like, you know, how, how it works too. So you will be handsomely rewarded. Don't worry. And then you also learn how to trade for a living too. That's, that's, and that's and Scott, Scott's email is in the chat as well. So you, you can always reach out to him there uh, if you have questions, et cetera. Right. Um, all right. So let's see what's going on here. NASDAQ, I'm just, you know what? I'm not going to, this, see how now this was a bullish setup, right? So this is just a chop fest. I mean, they're working, but they're short lived, right? So you had, you had a bear setup up here. Ran into a bullish setup. This was a dumb and dumber this way. Dumb and dumber is a stop run, no follow through, failure, came down, stop run this way, sell stop, failure this way. Probably don't want to be trading in this area right now. Let's wait. Wait for it to get above 14,002 14, ish or below. What I really want to see, I think the best place to short this is if we start getting signals below, or I've got to cancel that. If it gets below this ice from earlier, that's not relevant anymore because we traded through it so many times. But I would love to see this and then then a new setup bearish, and then I will definitely be going short. But you can see even on the five minute, so it's just a chop fest right here, right? Don't worry, the, the trade's coming. It's either going to be a nice, a very nice long trade or a very nice short trade. Let them play their games and then it will materialize. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at that market. So we will be moving that here. Still in my double position in gold here. And just like I said, guys, <laughs> it's 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 just, it's uncanny how many times the same thing happens, right? So again, we got aggressive over here. Actually, no, I waited for the pullback. So I'll pull back twice, which it can do, right? So we broke out here. This was that new setup here, the sell ice that's now getting their head kicked in. Came back, retested, we got in here, did this, retested again. So I, I really, I'm really, i really expecting to see more where I'll be able to add a third position and then we will trail this stop up, this stop up, right? So let's, hopefully that can get rolling. Oh, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys was, again, the easiest trades ever are always when I'm um, away from my screen. So I did win $120 playing golf yesterday, so I don't, I don't think that was equivalent to what I would have made on this trade on this trade but we've talked about this many times I mean, this is just like last week remember i said i did not want to be trading crude because we were smack dab in the middle of this balance area so what what do we do we built this balance right and then we built balance inside of balance gapped up came back what did we hold the top of the balance built more little guy balance yesterday we gapped up and then Right here, I'm going to show you this. I did I did screenshot when because I, I leave my book map running. Um, this was an awesome long, long setup where again, when you know context, you're sitting here literally watering your mouth's watering, like, oh my god, if I get if I get a long setup, I am in. And what was it? I mean, this was just again they're the easiest trades ever when I'm not around. This one, huge stop run. Sell ice tried to stop it. That's this zone here. Actually, there was something below here too where you could have got in, but even even so, you had this, never even came back to the bottom of the zone and it was just gone. So this is an example how I said, um, 
it was just the end of the movie. I might not have been on. No, I can't remember. But either way, it was a golden setup. And again, you have to determine, hey, do I want to be aggressive and get in right when it breaks the zone, or do I want to wait for a retest? Well, guess what? If you waited for a retest yesterday, you didn't get the retest. And the thing just ripped. Yeah, this is more down here. There was another setup down here where you could have right when it was breaking out of this balance. And there's just, this is what I mean. This is like an A plus trade where you wait, you wait, you wait. You've been waiting for what? Three weeks. And then when you finally get it, you're like, is this for real? Oh yeah, there's my bullish setup in the real time volume. I'm in and you can control your risk. You don't have to, like if you play this breakout up here, if you're a chart player and you don't know real time volume, if you, even if you get long here, this thing, can, this thing is still technically bullish until it breaks. It could do come all the way back here and then go, right? So you're getting right here. Where are you putting your stop? You're putting it down here. You're risking 300 ticks. No, thanks, right? I know what you're saying. Well, I'll, I'll just put it 26. Okay, that's fine, but that's arbitrary and you can easily be stopped out, right? Markets do this all the time where they retest the high volume node and then go or retest the top of the balance and then go, right? So the point is when you have a real-time volume, you can really, really control your risk. Um, so gold's just sitting here now. We'll see if I can withstand this move down here. Um, if this does come down here and stop me out of this one and then gets back above, I will put on the second position one more time. Just because, again, it's, this is aggressive, especially having two position on, but I, it looks, this looks like the big one, Elizabeth, like we were saying, this looks like what I've been waiting for for we cleared everywhere. We cleared important zones. This was a monster zone. Failed, failed, failed. Huge down move. Failed, down move. A lot of huge down move. Failed, down move. Now we're above it. There's really no structure here, up till here. Right? This could be a three, three hundred tick trade. I always talk things in ticks, so you can say thirty dollars, but I, I think that's confusing. I just like talking, talking in ticks. If you guys are sending me a message on Discord, I, I can hear stuff firing off. One, I can't do it right now. And from two, I don't even know how to yet. So just bear with me. All right. Um, let's take a look at ES. I didn't want to get along that. I'm sure I missed that retest. Hey, look at that. Wow. Have we seen this before? We've seen this like 10 times today alone. Here's your zone. Here's the 1100 stop run, retest fails, you get in when buyers come back in, your stop goes right here. So I should have been, if I wasn't chirping this whole time at 52, three quarters, your stop goes here. You're risking a whopping three points. This could be like a 30 point trade. So say we're in this, right? Say we're long. I'm not gonna chase this up here. I should have been in down here. But you start to watch. Again, this is these are all time highs. So what do you what do you trade off of? Well, one, you watch the spot gamma levels. Right, so you, you get in down here, say we're in a 52 and three quarters, which we should have been. Now I would watch to see how it reacts at the spot gamma. If I see it here and then kind of hesitate, I see red coming in, I will get out of a quarter of my trade. If it just blows right through there, now resistance is now support, right? Kind of like it's gonna try to do right here. So let's see. Again, I'm not doing anything, just hypothetically, I should have been in if I was watching this because we were waiting for this. But you already got, you know, right now you'd have almost five points in the trade. Now let's see what happens here. Pretend we're long. Again, my rules are to get out. So I would have six on. I would get out. If it can't push through the spot gamma level, I'm out of two of them. Right? And the stop would be down here for the original position. Let's see what happens. Any other questions, Bruce, while I'm watching uh, this? <clears throat> I mean, there's kind of a, just a like a like a record player on um, looking <laughs> at your settings for the ES and the NQ, oh, et cetera. I thought, you, I thought you were talking about me just repeating the same stuff over and over and over. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, the questions are, are, are I guess, new new people coming in and always looking for the, the different um, settings. And and they want to mirror the, um, the, the precise settings. Um, so. Well, that's the other thing too, guys. When you come in the, you know, when you come in my room, I'm going to be offering like discounts to the to my courses. You're going to be learning obviously the thresholds. When you're listening to me chirp every single day, you're going to learn the thresholds. I mean, that's a long way of getting them without getting the course. But if you get the course, those have all the thresholds. There's going to be discounts for members, all that stuff. But you will learn all this stuff in the room now because I can have time to share it all now, right? Um, but quickly again, ES thresholds. 
you got 700 for icebergs, 500 for stops. I put my stops at 10 seconds because you want to see stop runs quick, right? They shouldn't last long. Icebergs sometimes take longer to form. I leave that at 60 seconds. You know, you can, if you like different different uh, values, then change them how you want them. I, this is still, I made the course last July, and I mean, I've been watching this since last March, the SI indicator, right? So it's been over a year, made the course last July, and this is still spot on, these, these values, as far as what's worth trading, what's not worth trading. So here we go. Now, if you if you're long, again, the easiest trades are when I'm not watching. This is exactly what we're waiting for. You're not getting out here. Why do you see a seller? I don't see a seller. Why why am I getting? Why do I want to sell if no one else wants to sell? Right. So again, if this fails and comes back and I see red, then I would be out of a quarter. If not, hold it. And then if I get a new signal, just like gold, I'll trail it and add to it, and then trail my stop up from down here. Hypothetically, we should have been in. And trail it up. Then you have two, three, four, five positions on, and the thing rips, you have a month, year making day. That's the goal of trading. Tread water, don't lose a lot. And then when you get your your go sign, the things you make your month, you make your year. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, just uh, a lot of goal. questions. Sorry. Oh, just no, just a lot of questions about the uh, new room, et cetera. But uh, uh, you guys have all the information that I have and uh, uh, should work for you. If not, like, you know, you can reach out to in the room there or Scott or whatever. Yeah, again, I, I, I know, like, I don't even see how, if anyone's even in here yet. Oh, here you go. Here's two. Cool. <clears throat> all right, so it looks like I'm going to. Oops. Yeah, see you guys, this is gonna be it's gonna take me a little time to learn how to use this thing. So just be again, if you get in there, you don't see me in there today, I don't post anything, don't freak out, right? The official launch day is Monday, but I'm gonna be experimenting and messing around with this. So that's all I can tell you. It should be good though. You guys should uh learn a ton in there. You're gonna have way more access to me. And I'm still gonna do these, right? So the only days that the only times I'm not going to be in there, um, you know, it's going to be basically every day, hour, 15 minutes from the open. Um, what did I put in there? Eight, uh, yeah, eight, eight a.m. Central to nine fifteen Central, and then the closing hour, one p.m. or two p.m. Central to three p.m. Central. Uh, except for Wednesdays, I'm only going to be in there in the morning because I play golf Wednesday afternoons, and then Thursdays will only be in the afternoon because obviously I do the bookmap webinar, which you guys will be on anyway. So. So there's basically just one time slot where you're not going to give me that would be Wednesday afternoons. And then I'll also be posting all day too, you know, if I see stuff, if I'm not in there live. All right, that's enough about that. Um, again, I'm not messing with NASDAQ here. That just, well, this is, I take that back. I didn't see where the size. So if I get something, did I just miss this one too? I sure did. Shocking. All right, this is, uh, Yeah, so you can see here between these two stop runs, this is almost 300 stop runs right here. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete these zones just so I can clear my head because there's new ones coming in anyway. So let's draw this quickly. And I'm going to incorporate both of these huge stop runs. They're not huge, but they both with threshold combined. They are very big. That came up to here. Right there. There's your retest. I'm going to go on here. All right, I chased it a little bit. That's all right. I'm going to put my stop. Again, now you got to decide, do you want to go close to the zone? Do you want to go the ATR, the 20%? I'm just going to go just below. Because again, if this is truly bullish now, which it should be, we're above that zone. I just showed you this thing should rip, right? I mean, we're still, it still might be a little hairy because we're kind of just at this guy here where this was when it started this whole move, but this should go. So I'm gonna put my stop just below that spot gamma level as well. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, look at that. I wonder, I wonder where we're going today. Huh, I wonder. Oops. 
you guys all know the liquidity, it's magnets, right? I put it in there the other day, somebody put, dropped in, I think that was, that wasn't yesterday because I wasn't here, but Tuesday, someone dropped in at the, clo at the close, two 1,000 lot bids, like well below. I've never seen a thousand lot in there. And then they, so then I was like, yeah, it's a magnet. And I actually went short a little bit thinking it would go down there, it would swipe down at the close. And then they just, you can see it like, that's what's so great about this liquidity. You'll see it like this, right? And then they'll take, like they took 500 in the exact spot where it canceled. You can see it moved up to there. And they did that at the close. It was pretty funny, but um, it's just amazing what you can see with Bookmap guys. I mean, I, I can't, I can't stress it out. I tell you every time, it's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. All right, so if I was long ES like I should have been, I would be considering, like, see, I was kind of struggling on the spot gamma level. So if we move back below here, I get out of a quarter. So I would put like to sell to it. I'd stop out of it um, right around 57. Again, not because I want to save my cash. If I was up, I'd be up six plus points now. It's because it's violating an area. There's a reason. All right, gold's off to the races, man. This thing is just... It's just starting, I think. I'm surprised we're not getting, I mean, it's still, I think it's still coming, but there's gonna be another one of these. Mark my words. There are some guys seriously holding their breath that have been, can you imagine if you're a bigger fund, you're a bigger trader, whatever, you're longer term, and you've been, you know, all the different dudes, houses that have been putting positions on in this short, and then in this short, and now it's gone. Now it's just going to be like, I mean, it literally might be a straight shot right to that today. No, no real liquidity in there though. <clears throat> Again, guys, I don't pay attention to this liquidity, right? This liquidity means nothing to me. This is just guys just throwing in orders right now. I want to see liquidity that's been in there for a long period of time. Let's look, let's look at that, uh, let's see how long this has been in here for NASDAQ. All right, look at that. <laughs> this is going back to last night. You think they want to get filled? That's how you know if the stuff's real and it's a magnet because again, if something happens in the world, I mean, I don't know positive why we would rip like that, but they're willing to get their orders taken. That means they want to be filled, right? All right. NASDAQ's kind of a pain in my, you know what, today. Gold's working nicely. Now, again, guys, I'm going to be getting off here shortly, but if you get something new, so if you got long with me back down there, again, you're not mirroring my trades. You're not understanding why you're doing it. If you have this stuff and you understand the setups, you should have been long too. But you get another setup, say rips here, you put on your new trade, you, and then you trail this stop, this stop, and then you have three positions on. And then you get another one, trail, 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 you put another position on. And then you make... Again, if your normal day is two grand, you make thirty thousand dollars today, something like that. All right, that's a lot of talking, Bruce. Any questions? I'm gonna hop off so I can get this Discord stuff figured out. And um, no, I mean, uh, kind of a bunch of uh, kind of scattered questions on things. Um, but, uh, no, that's about it. And then uh, David, yeah, re reach out to Scott. Um, uh, personally, I think on, on, um, your request there. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let's see when you see a red, uh, one red bubble followed, followed by, uh, I'm not really sure what you, what you mean there, uh, Jose, but, um, uh, yeah, in, anyway, like, uh, you know, I guess, uh, yeah, I, I guess you'll have to wait until next week on this one. Uh, you might be talking about uh, when he might be exiting, I guess, but uh, uh, yeah. Or... You know, guys, don't don't get too caught up in the bubbles per se, right? I, I get a lot of, especially you know, in the mentoring stuff, guys that are new to book map. They're like, well, I saw this red, and then I saw this one red bubble, so then I went short. Yeah, there is. You have to use it in context, right? Yeah, you want to know where the big sellers and big buyers are, but just because you see red, it means nothing in the big picture, right? If I see red at certain areas, right, like I told you, you know, like ES, right? If I, if I see red like right here, like I just got done saying, if I saw sellers red come in below the spot gamma level, I'll get out of a quarter. So if we were long, if I was long, like I should have been if I was watching this, I would have got, I've been on a two right now. 
because I saw red, meaning all that means is there's guys hitting the bids. They're being aggressive sellers. That's what this shows you through an important area. I'm out, right? But, or for the blue, if I see blue, meaning market buyers, and it goes right through an area and keeps going, I'm not getting out because there's no sellers initiating. Just be careful is what I'm saying. Don't just don't use these randomly. It's just people selling. It's not, it doesn't mean that area is important. Right. It's when you, you know, put it in context with this stuff is then that's when you want to use it. But we'll go over that stuff in that trade room as well. OK, no, I think that uh, that sums it all up uh, and um, let's uh, uh, wrap it up. And good luck, Scott, uh, with, with that uh, um, uh, discord uh, uh, trading room. Uh, guys, you have all the information there uh, and. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll 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 uh, catch up uh, next Thursday, and uh, hopefully you have like 500 people in there. <laughs> yeah, well, again, it, it's going to be good. I, it's, I have free reign now. Do whatever I want. There's just you guys are going to learn a ton. Basically, it's like you're sitting next to me now every day. So um, again, if you like it or not, me. yeah, <laughs> right. I like, like it or exactly. You're going to hear me complain all day long too because again if i don't if i don't talk out loud my head will pop off my shoulders but um you guys will learn a lot and the whole goal is to make you proficient traders where you can do this on your own for the rest of your life that's the whole goal so uh it should be good again it's all it's all connected with the discord with book map it's going to be it's going to be good i just got to learn what the heck i'm doing in there so all right guys uh any questions with that that stuff just send me an email just please be patient is all i ask you uh, it should be up and running smoothly by monday other than that, Bruce. No, nah, that's it. Thank you, Scott. Excellent, excellent webinar. Thanks. And I will uh, I'll see you guys either in the room, in my room, or I'll see you next Thursday. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks.